So, all right, no, 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 what, you didn't sheet paper? Oh, you're throwing those away? Thank you very much, AJ. All right, so in this case, this is very similar to what we've done, except now we don't have the measure of the angle. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you how to find the measure of the angle. The measure of the side, you find the ratio that you're using, and then you just plug it in, right? The angle is a little bit more difficult to understand, and, and it's a little bit different notation that we got to go over. But still, the major and first important thing that you guys can do is identify the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. I'm not going to go over this as slowly as I have to not bore so many people, but I'm just going to label them. That's the hypotenuse connecting with my angle in the right angle. That is my adjacent. And then opposite of that is going to be my opposite. Okay? If you have trouble with that, please come in and see me. I'll be more than happy to go over it with you slowly. But you have to know how to label the triangle to get to this. The next thing is you have to know the three trigonometric functions. Right? I told you guys that SOHCAHTOA is a great way to memorize, to understand, to memorize those three, those three um, functions. So now I need to look at this and say, all right, what information do I know? I know the opposite and the adjacent. So Kristen, do you remember? Kristen, do you remember what, which function deals with opposite and hypotenuse? Sine, right? So therefore, I can say the sine of theta equals, go that way please, equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? So now let's plug in the information we know. Do we know the angle? Well, it's x, right? We know what it is, but we don't know the value. So we say sine of x is equal to 6 over 18. Now, 6 over 18, ladies and gentlemen, we can reduce that to 1 third, right? <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Now, I'm going to reduce that down to 1 third, but it, it doesn't really matter. I think I have another piece coming up. All right. So now we need to solve for x. And this is going to get a little bit difficult um, until you guys really get into Algebra 2 and start talking about inverses. You're not, it's probably not going to have too much meaning to you. But I'll just give you the example of what you're going to do. When we talked about functions, one thing that was very important that I said is the sine of an angle, all right? the cosine of your angle, the tangent of your angle equals a ratio. So what I want you guys to understand is this x is inside of a function. All right? It's like inside of a square root. right? It's inside of that function. So you cannot divide by sine. Okay? Think about it like this, guys. Right? If I have this, you can't say, oh, well, I'm going to get rid of this by uh, divided by the square root. No, we don't divide by square roots. right? There's an inverse operation for the square root, which is, Taylor, how do you undo the square root? No. How do you undo? No. Bertha, do you remember how to undo the square root? OK. Well, Taylor, let me give you something maybe more understanding. If I had x squared equals 4, how do, what do, how do I undo the square? No. How do you, you take the square root. To undo squaring, you take the square root. So if I give you the square root, how do you undo the square root? You square it. Right? So there's an opposite operation for everything. So what I'm going to show you is the opposite operation for sine. And it looks like this. All right, x equals sine inverse of your ratio. Now, don't worry, this is in your calculator. So just above where you guys had sine, there should be a sine with a little negative 1 as kind of like a little exponent. So you're usually going to have to hit your second key on your calculator. And all I hit is second inverse, so, I had, so it looks like exactly that, sine inverse. And then I just do 1 divided by 3. And when I do that, I get an angle of 30 degrees. Therefore, x equals 30 degrees. Okay. So what I would like you guys to do is show as much work as possible. And let's see if we